let's hear some love for my great great uncle Albert Einstein. But why such love? Well, he combined the simple with the strange to create the profound. E equals MC squared, a simple one-liner that says energy is mass and it powers the sun. Well, tonight, I, Groucho Einstein, will, will show you a new, simple, and strange approach to gravitation. We start with two simultaneous events, and everybody in the room measures an X, a Y, and a Z, and everybody disagrees because of different angles. We use a trick the Egyptians knew. We calculate X squared plus Y squared plus Z squared is distance squared, and we all agree about that, except for that girl who's skipping away because she sees one of the events happening first due to her motion. And she also doesn't agree about the distance squared. Not to worry, Uncle Albert fixed this problem when he developed special relativity. He said you got to measure the time, you got to calculate t squared, you got to take the difference between these two, which makes things strange, and then we will all agree, even the skipping girl, on this interval. Except for balloon girl, who's actually floating high above us, where there's less gravity and a lower rent. She doesn't agree about the interval. Not to worry, <laughs> Uncle Albert solved this again with general relativity. And general relativity is not simple. It is strange. It is profound. So my idea is to start with an observation from third grade math, where we could add, subtract, multiply, and divide any two numbers. And our rule is you must be able to add, subtract, multiply, and divide anything that's a number or anything that uses numbers. Unfortunately, the math of general relativity does not behave that way. So when we do this, what do we do? Well, we make our observation t, x, y, z. We square it. We get the interval. And we get this extra stuff, t, x, t, y, t, z. And the proposal is that balloon girl and I and the rest of you agree about the t, x, t, y, t, z. It's just we disagree about the interval. So that's a simple one-liner. It's very strange because TX, TY, TZ doesn't even have a name in physics, although I call it space times time. And it would be profound because it's a new approach to gravity. Thank you very much.